I am Ayushi Sharma. I am basically from Himachal Pradesh, and I stay in Bangalore. I am a working professional and social entrepreneur by passion. Uh, so I'm here today to talk about passion and grit, uh, and you know how, what is the importance of passion in our lives, uh, and what all we need to know about it, and how do we discover about it. And I'll share my life story, which mm. may help you. in uh, your uh, friends or colleagues in near or far future uh, so yeah let's begin uh, first of all let's let's start this discussion with the definition to the to this word of passion so what passion is what really it is so uh, many of us we all know and nowadays i think during this era of social media and you know we know a lot of things about passion many people uh, they start following their passion in a very early stage of their life so what is it so i like to use the word passion interchangeably with words like determination conviction and love uh, passion is a strong desire that can get you to do amazing things uh, it's an emotion to be acted upon so when you feel that zeal inside you to uh you know do something really great in your life and which pushes you to change your life in a better way uh, to you know make it successful or for another any any sort of betterment in your life so that is the sort of feeling that you have for your passion now uh, people have a lot of hobbies and they do a lot of things that they like and you know there's always this question how do they know that what are they passionate about so that is something that we are going to discuss in the further slides so what passion is all about as i said when you feel that thing inside you to change and improve your life and make it more successful and meaningful or purposeful you know that is something that you get out of the passion and when you become passionate about anything so without action passion is no worthwhile results uh, passion is the fuel in the fire of action uh when you have passion for something uh you love it even when you hate it so when i say this thing so let me give you an example uh, let's say i i like playing football okay so but but i'm still i'm still very really, very much scared about the broken bones or visiting hospitals or you know uh going out there and uh, you know being stressful about my fatigue and stamina building and and i start saying that you know i don't like all these things maybe that's the reason i'm not best at it so these sort of excuses when occurs it it's it it states that this is not really passion and this is not something that you're really passionate about because uh, when you see any sort of challenges or failure you start i'm not saying you are hating it but you are not really um, you know motivated enough to complete it or do the things successfully or being satisfied doing it so that is the time when you see you can say that this is not something that you are passionate about so when you do the things you see the failure you accept the failure and you grow and grow and grow more that is the time when you can think okay this is something that i'm passionate about and i'm going to do this and you know um, when you get this feeling you 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 allow yourself to get up in the morning and put all your efforts into improving enhancing and uh, you know sharing uh, this thing with the people or maybe help other people on your way so all these things are there that you get out of passion now uh, the another thing is discover so how how this is a question that comes to many people so how do we discover uh, our passion as i said many people have different different hobbies they don't really know how to figure out what they want to do for you know n number of years uh, and they they'll do it happily or they are they are satisfied by doing it so uh, if you will ask me th the first thing that i would recommend is pay attention to your life your life experiences uh when you when you start looking at your life and you you know you get aware about what you really like what you really don't like and that awareness inside you will lead you to the path which you really like and you which you really get satisfied while you walk into that path right so finding what you are passionate about is a journey in itself don't be frustrated if you don't really 
know what you want or what you want to do yet if if you don't know that's fine that's okay your experiences and uh, when you try new things it will come it will come to your way if you find your passion or find yourself uh, hot on its trail don't give it up don't just give it up so here i would like to share uh, a part of my life uh, when and how i discovered it so i come from a place uh, which is not really commercialized now it is but if you look back uh, before 25 26 years it was not really commercialized you know and people do a lot of heavy duties by themselves so i was a kid and i used to see these people like these old people carrying uh, these heavy things stones on their head so which means they were working as a laborer there i had that feeling inside that how can i help these people and what's happening why they are doing all these things you know where are their kids why they are not helping them out and they have to work on this hard uh, things while they are while they are so old but you see we we are very uh, helpless and i was a kid I, i didn't really know what is this feeling but i was i just used to feel sad about it i grown up i i i studied i was started working and one day while i was, I was working i just i was just thinking you know like what is that thing which is missing in my life what is that thing that i really wanted to do and i am not doing uh, because i'm not that satisfied or happy right now that i could be right and i so at that time uh, like i was just just in touch with a organization named uh, pagir which is an ngo in uh, leh ladakh so i i was in touch with them i was not really really doing anything uh, for them but i was just in touch so uh, that particular day i called up this person who was a member i just knew him that he's just a member there i just called him up and i said that uh, you know i just want to come there and help you guys and if you could arrange something for my stay rest everything i will manage i was aware that if i go there i will not be uh, you know getting paid and i'll i may have to quit the job because i i want to go there for a couple of days so uh, i i quit my job and i went to lay uh, it was very impulsive decision at that time because i was just i just wanted to do, try this and i was just thinking that this may lead to a happy or satisfied life you know and i went there i so it again it was very difficult at that time it was like cold winters was there and while i was going up of course my family was like you know how will you survive there is no transportation there will be uh, like less oxygen at that time but still i i had this thing that i want to go and i i want to go that's all so i went off there and of course it was very difficult there was no no sort of vegetables uh, you couldn't see any greenery less oxygen for initial couple of days it was very difficult if you would have gone to lay you would have fair idea about you know how things are there so uh, but when i started going to the ngo i started interacting with the people and knowing about what really these people are doing and helping it, them out on daily basis it was again a very normal routine that we used to do it in our you know corporate offices go go to the office in the morning do the work come back in the evening but uh, you know i had that feeling that i'm really enjoying it i was enjoying it to the fullest and um, that that seed uh, went into my mind that i want to do something like that uh, i stayed there for two months and came back when i came back like of course you have your family your work you have to earn also to survive to to balance all of that i came back and you know i thought of um, uh, doing going back to the routine and i'll i'll keep thinking i wanted to seek for that balance in my life so i came back and i started working but that seed was there in my mind which pushed me and uh one day uh, i was just thinking and i called up this great man mr mohammed iqbal who was the founding member in uh, pagir uh, and i called him up i thought i'll take some suggestions like how did he do it and you know what was his motivation i called him up and he suddenly told me that he left pagir he has grown pagir massively and he wanted to do wanted other you know other people to come in and do something for pagir and he left it so i got excited that okay if you left it uh can you you know uh join hands with me and we'll do something because our thoughts were very much aligned with each other we we wanted to do something for people and you know wanted to solve few things in the society so he said yes why not and i think within a couple of weeks we decided to open up this 
new NGO and I went back to Ladakh again. Uh, this time I didn't leave the job. I just went there to register the NGO and that is registered now by the name of uh, Himalayan Helping Hands and we um, as Ranjan mentioned before, we, we try to solve some uh, you know, major issues in Himalayas that people face because of uh, no employment opportunities. So we are trying to create employment opportunities and you know, uh, so now I found my passion, I ran behind it, I planned it well and um, obviously you have to find that balance also. So I figured it out really well and, and pursuing the same thing that I'm doing right now. So that's how you discover it. Uh, so I told you my story, not because you all have to do such things, okay? You, you, you all can have your own ways to discover you, what you want. There's no need to go somewhere and, you know, think that, okay, this is what I really want. You can see what you really do on your daily basis, what you really like doing, and what is that thing that you can do forever. That's all. That's, that's all it requires to discover it. So, uh, yeah, again, purpose and passion. So these two words, they are very much interrelated and they have a very thin uh, difference between them. So what purpose is? As I've mentioned a very beautiful quote here, realize what your passion is and definitely you'll get the purpose of your life. You may not do exceptional things, but can do things, little things in exceptional ways. So, you know, when you start your journey towards your passion and you ask yourself, why this is your passion so this answer to that why will tell you your purpose you know it's that simple so uh, if you'll ask me i told you about my story okay so now if you'll ask me okay now you're this is your passion what is your purpose so now i told you about my childhood part also right so now when i discovered this is my passion i could attach these strings that okay I really want to help people and that's what I really enjoy. I, I don't want anyone to suffer uh, because, of they, because they don't have employment opportunities or they, they don't have any work. They cannot, you know, earn anything. So I just wanted to uh, help these sort of people out and I find out my passion and that's how I find out my purpose in my life. So it's that simple. Just find out what is your passion. Definitely you'll find out the purpose that you have. Now, this is really a very, uh, you know, uh, in important and I would say prominent question that comes into everyone's mind who has started working towards their passion. In my experience and seeing uh, other people, it's not necessary to have monetary benefits out of your passion from the beginning. Uh, but if you plan it well, you may have the monetary benefits in the later stage of the you know, journey. So, uh, I mean, uh, here, let me give you an example of, uh, of an app that is Byju's. I hope you all know about it. So if you, are, if you don't know, it's a app or a, like a platform for the uh, students who can go there and, you know, practice for their competitive. So they learn and practice in the online. So this guy, Mr. Baiju, when he wanted, so how he started, he was an IIM graduate and he was a working professional, IT professional. And uh, his friends used to come up to him and ask about few doubts and, you know, how they, they want to crack some competitors, but they don't, they cannot, the pressure that they are feeling. They, they used to discuss it with him and he used to guide them and teaches them. And uh, so he, he uh, when he used to do this, he, he used to feel happy and satisfied. So what he did is he did a very small practice. He put on the posters on the wall and, you know, invited few people for offline free <laughs> sessions. And uh, when he when he started that, he really started liking it. So what he did, he uh, later on, he started to uh, quit the job and he started by just rest all his history. And Byju's is now one of the you know best startups in India with a valuation of eight billion dollars. So you see, he started off with his uh, with something that he really likes. He made a better plan. He just grew his plan. He he had a better strategy, and now he is having a very good revenue out of his ideas. So. Uh, also, like I gave you this example when people, you know, seek to have monetary benefit, but not all people wants to have monetary benefits out of their passion. So some of them are, uh, they really like the, you know, uh, satisfaction and happiness they get out of this work. Some people like, uh, for example, I came across many developers who are very much passionate about coding, right? 
or you can take this example that they come back home and they also like uh, painting now they don't really want to have um, income uh, painting as as their income source they are they are you know doing well from their developing career they don't want to make some monetary benefits out of it so they are just satisfied so uh, making it just as your hobby or your income it's just your choice if you want to make it uh, you know give you income or monetary benefits you will have to plan it well if you do you just enjoy the satisfaction and happiness out of it so again a very uh, important thing that comes to everyone's mind when they start following their passion that how do they balance work passion and family you know it's not that hard it it's it just takes time of yours but it is not that hard but uh, i would say many people uh, ask me also okay like how did you balance and how do you do this so you know there is no absolute universal answer to this question of balance um there can be uh, many suggestions okay. from people uh, what what went right for others or how they found out their way um, how who found themselves in similar situation so if you so what i believe is if you are truly passionate about something you need to get started now there is no tomorrow for it you have to get started now it doesn't mean you have to quit your job it doesn't mean you have to go far away from your family it doesn't mean you have to do it full time but you just have to start it and plan well but if you are truly passionate you need to carve out some regular time to do what you love you know start with schedule a uh, reality check um and and also you have to learn to say no also to the things that are that makes less priority to you you have to prioritize everything accordingly so what really works here is the time and how time you to relate to which thing in your life uh the society where we come from family is important and of course we also have to work along with it until we have anything else to you know survive so uh it's not really hard you just have to manage your time accordingly if if you have your we all have 24 hours a day we, um, uh, if you sleep for 8 hours just cut off 2 hours from there sleep for 6 hours 2 hours to discuss and you know to think about your passion to plan it out so every person can um as i said there is no fixed definition for this thing you have to work on yourself your thoughts to figure out your uh, you know way of balancing the thing so okay now this is something really important when you start following your passion uh, you will have to have a motivation a force inside you which always pushes you towards the success to make your passion successful so what is that that is nothing but that's what we call as grit you know so as i mentioned it it's supposed to be hard if it wasn't hard anyone would do it it's the hard that makes it great so when you start doing something okay now you realize what your passion is now you'll have to make it successful so you will have to have that force inside you to make it successful so uh that's what many people think that okay is get grid really important for me to be successful of course yes it is it is important for you to be successful uh even when you pursue your passion you will find yourself tripped up by failures and other obstacles uh you can't let go of your thoughts or uh, you know passion when you see failures it happens to everyone on the path of following their passion so for example i want to have a garden on my house okay and i i just uh, had put on that seed in the soil seeds in the soil now i'm not doing anything i'm just you know sitting back back and relaxing and seeing okay now this plant will come up will that really happen no right that will not happen you will have to give it water or fertilizers or uh, whatever you know the way you have to nurture it to grow it or else it will die so same is the case with our passion when you know the passion now you know how you will do it you will have to have that motivation and force inside you which we call as grit and a you know right mindset to work toward it so the the, the mindset plays a very important role here you, you so i mean um, and and grit also grit has if you have a passion and you do to have a grit to be successful 
राइट no right that will not be right she has invested her time planning out for the classes for the videos and everything now how she just and you know so uh, grit plays a very important role she has to think what went wrong she has to go back and think what sort of strategies that she was making and what sort of plan she had that went wrong what she can do uh for the uh, you know better men that she can apply on her her plans to make it more successful and get back that number to 100 or more than 100 again so that is a sort of example that i gave to tell you how grit is very much important when you pursue your passion now uh, i talked about mindset we so, we have two sort of mindsets one is growth mindset and one is fixed mindset i hope you all can see on the screen what is growth mindset and what is fixed fixed mindset is nothing but when you apply some limitations on your mind that if i get failure i would be able to do anything sort of fixed mindset that we say but you see i mean you you should always have growth mindset in you that is the only thing that will make you successful that will make you believe in you and that will motivate you always so when you start pursuing your passion there there may be some time when you see some failure as i given you example of a lady she likes cooking you see some failure you see some challenges on your way and you know at the time you can think that oh no i mean I, now i failed i don't want to do anything no you should not do that you should get up again get out of your comfort zone make a plan just accept these challenges and failures and grow yourself more grow yourself more that you could achieve what you wanted to achieve don't get demotivated and them like the things like you know uh, positivity and negativity these also play a very important role here so if you could see these you should not have fixed mindset you should always have growth mindset with you so to sum up um, all these uh, uh, you know uh, slides and whatever i wanted to tell you i have two very important uh, quotes that i really relate to and i would like to share these with you there are no guarantees that finding a passion will be easy but the process of searching for a passion is a part of the process of life accept it and keep searching and the second one is pay attention to the things you are naturally drawn to they are often connected to your path passion and purpose in life have the courage to follow them with this i would like to say thank you thanks for joining the webinar